Okay, there we go. And then I just need to stream the game to you. There we go. And now you can see what's going on without having to go through Twitch, which would be extremely annoying. Yeah, it is a bit messy playing the game with a 15 second delay. <laughs> well, also, you're going to be doing some reading. I'm not going to do all the reading. Yep. Uh, and... so. Oh, right. it looks like I need to switch to uh, web browser Discord. C cool. So, hello, YouTube. We're running a ship. Um, this is I'm Grimwit. This is Spectacle. With me is Doom Lad. He's trying to get technical difficulties dealt with. Somebody. There's always technical difficulties. I don't know who, but somebody snuck in the back door. I don't remember advertising, except on Discord, Twitter. I mean X. I mean Twix. <clears throat> I like the like everything from the screenshots of this game looks classic um, Mac Venture stuff. More in line to the uh, the kind of games we got for the original Nintendo than what we got for Macintosh. Yeah, the Macintosh ones were black and white, so this does look a bit more colorful. Well, it looks exactly like Shadowgate, Deja Vu, and Uninvited. Yep. I oh. never played Uninvited. I did. It was the only one I beat. Well, okay, I take that back. Um, wow, I guess Deja Vu is the only one of the three I didn't beat without looking up uh, hints and guides and stuff way later in my life. When I was a kid, I, I practically brute forced Shadowgate. And... Uh, <laughs> And uninvited was the only one I didn't need any hints or anything. Everything made sense to me, so it just I just jammed yep. with it. Nice. It's, it's the it might be the only click uh, point and click adventure that I just jammed with and was right. You know I don't I don't like where that screen is. I'm gonna move that screen. There we go. Is that so? For some reason, oh, now it's working. Okay, hang on a second. I, of, of course I know how to use OBS. Of course I know how to use OBS. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never played anything uninvited, that'd be rude. Also, high cross. What? You finally get work in Doomland? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's get started then. Yeah, I, I don't know. Did you not hear me jump out and then back in? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so did... my end it went. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh. D Discord is dumb. Let's get started. Uh, I guess. Ooh, options. So I do want to. Uh, hmm? I can be left-handed or right-handed. What is the what is the purpose? <laughs> uh, we are going to do windowed mode. I want sounds, and I want to turn down the music. Like I like the music, but I don't want it so loud that I have to yell over it. That's fine. I don't know what this is. The option for text writing sound is now off. The option for text writing sound is now on. Huh. Yep. Okay, I'm fine with these. Controls, uh, left click. I think it's... What did it say? Is left click for something, right click for something else? Select clear actions, check time, toggle actions, and then this. Okay, no, I... So that's fine, that's fine. Okay, play game. Challenges? What kind of challenges are there? Good load screen. Well, there's probably a challenge for playing it through without dying. Wow. This feels like what the Japanese think Americans listen to. <laughs> okay, uh, examine. This is not your usual mail. It's quite a fancy envelope. You should open it. You can't take that. What? But it's 
What? You open the envelope and remove a very colorful flyer. You should take a closer look. I guess this this is the tutorial. Yep. Here's to be a flyer for the famed spectacle circus. And it's now visiting your town. There, you, you do this one. Come one, come all, to the exciting exhibition extravaganza of the new millennium. A spectacular spectacle circus. For one day only, see a magical performance of the ages as our enchanters and his beautiful assistant astound and amaze you. With otherworldly sorcery and impossible feats that have dumbfounded even the greatest magicians and mystics of the East. Something like this comes around but once in a lifetime. See if you can get a ticket. I don't... I'm not your slave, game! <laughs> no, that's not... That's no, no. Okay, cool. Um, nice day outside if you're looking forward to heading out. This is your workhouse. The roof over your head is in between shifts in the old mill. So I work at a mill. Family photos make this simple warehouse feel like a home. It is my second home. I guess it's time to go to the Spectacular Circus. It's just outside my house. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what? Convenient. <laughs> All right. The ticket booth appears to be just ahead. What are these three, four things right here? Okay, I, I can don't know. check my watch. Never mind. Fuck me. Tab doesn't do anything. So much for checking my watch. Um, balloons welcome visitors to the site and set the tone for an endless fun and whimsy within. Endless fun, Doom Lad. You don't get yep. to stop. You're not allowed to stop. It's endless. Can I... As fun should be. I guess I'll talk to the ticket booth. There is no response. What were you expecting? I was expecting a fucking ticket... <laughs> God damn it. I think you have to walk to the ticket booth first. Oh, wow. That's the same transition to Shadowgate and everything. Cool. Yep. I'm worried about Pomni here at the ticket booth. Not sure I appreciate that. Yeah, she looks happy. Which is unusual. That alone gives me reason to fear... This certainly, this is certainly the famed spectacle circus. Have you ever been to a circus, Doom Lad? I have not. There's a clown inside the booth. You can ask him about tickets. Um, they're fun. That's it. Um, <laughs> so, all right. The circus I went to was at a fair in Ardmore. And they don't call them circuses, but the classic circuses are a, re a reason to show off livestock and, more importantly, horses, horses, horses. And at yep. this particular circus, which was very small, they showed off Clydesdales. Oh, my God. Just, oh, oh, my God. Cl Clydesdales are so fucking huge. You you think you know what a big horse looks like, and then you see a Clydesdale in real life. It feels like... And this is coming from a six foot one gentleman. It feels like they are the size of elephants. Now I've never seen an elephant up close. I've always seen them like way off in the distance in zoos. But Clydesdale yeah. just feel that big. They're so fucking big. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, it was fun. But other, otherwise, yeah, I wonder if they're the same size as a moose. Maybe I've been I've. I've only seen mooses in comparison with cars, and mooses are also p pretty big. And it, in Canada, oh. don't you have invincible moose signs? <laughs> All right. Fortunately, not where I live, for the most part. <laughs> you ask how much a ticket is. Here, you do quotes. Tickets are all sold out. You ain't getting in here. The clown slams the ticket booth door shut. Seems like you're out of luck. Maybe you can look around? <laughs> Damn, fuck you, clown! Yep. 
Balloons. Famed Spectacle Circus. Wagon adorned with whimsical colors and clowns. This is where one buys tickets to the Spectacle Circus. Yeah, clowns have a history in, in horse shows, too. That's why, like, when I went to a circus, it was like a classic circus. Where it was mostly animals that you wouldn't normally see. Like Clydesdales and llamas and alpacas. Yep. They're super soft. Yeah, turns out Clydesdales, they're about the same height, but slightly heavier than a moose. I believe it. They're monstrous. Um, let's move whatever this is. Oh! Oh, there's a goddamn hole in the tent right there. <laughs> That's, this, this, That's this, probably this. it. Yeah, this hole was meant for me. I'm going there. Uh, okay. There appears to be an old pocket watch on the ground. Oh, that's that's my pocket watch now. Oh, this looks nice. You think oh, to yourself? Oh, this looks nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> you do all the quotes. That's right. My bad. <laughs> well, you want me to do the parts that aren't in quotes on the quote lines? No, I'll do the I'll do the non quotes. Well, <laughs> that's how we'll split it. <laughs> Uh, okay. So let's start over. Oh, this looks nice. You think to yourself as you take the fancy pocket watch. You notice a loose opening in the circus tent. It's small, but you bet you could fit through it. Yeah, but now I gotta check my watch. Oh. The time is 200. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess let's move through the hole in the tent. I'm sure nobody will notice. Nobody will ever know. It's the backstage prop room of the circus. How exciting to see such tools of wonder and imagination everywhere. Uh, okay, two to one odds that we stumble across a BDSM scene. No, I've already read that. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up that. What about this right here? That looks fancy. God damn it. Okay. Can I, uh, can I move that direction? Yes, I can. Holy shit. Before you even make a move, two figures appear before you dressed in full performance outfits. One appears to be a very imposing man with a magic wand. And with him is a woman donning a showy dancer's outfit. You've got my attention, says Cross, but I don't remember what this is in regards to. You can't help but feel like they were somehow expecting you. The woman gives you an odd look as she steps to the side. Hang on. Okay, I cannot look at my watch while I'm in the middle of a cutscene. Oh. The magician bellows out in a deep voice. Oh, you thought you could sneak into my spectacle circus. Or quite the bold one to try and pull one over on me. What shall I do with you? One who would interrupt my great performance. Yes, of course. You will pay for your transgressions by running a little, shall we say, errand. You will not work for the circus, though. This will be a matter of life and death. You will retrieve a treasure for me. I'm not sure how this all happened. I feel like... Firstly, I must ask that you kindly get into this box. What? No! God, no! What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? This box is rather large and you will fit comfortably inside. A small comfort that is. The imposing man with a wand is intimidating. He has a strange air about him. He talks out of his hat. Um, Blue is like, join us, you say. Possibly BDSM scene. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Well, you know, this is clearly the BDSM scene. Uh, I, I guess I'll... Argue with that. I will go in. Can I close with the open? I know that's counterintuitive. You can't open that. Okay. <laughs> Can I open myself? You, this won't open. <laughs> All right. We're now at question mark. Ooh. Animation. Holy shit. Yep. 
Magic doorways that has brought you to this strange land has vanished. You are stranded with no idea how to get home. You might as well take a look around. Okay, um... Let's save. Because this game has no autosave. It is it is pure, old-school Mac Venture stuff. Yep. Also, hi, Blue. How are you doing? I mean, look, I want I want to eat these flowers. Clearing of the forest. So did you let's... play any of the uh, hmm? Mac Ventures with Blue? Any of her kids? No, it wasn't her thing. She wasn't much of a video gamer. She is now. But she she wasn't much of a gamer back. What? No, you didn't play many video games. Like, maybe you... Like, okay, maybe... Maybe Ultima. And maybe... Um, I remember I remember you were playing uh, Impossible Mission, and you kept dying over and over and over again for like 20 minutes, and me and Mom were trying to stifle a laugh because every now and then we'd hear the, the sound bite of you screaming as you fell off the screen over and over and over again. Yeah, that sounds like Impossible Mission. <laughs> Just because I was bad didn't mean I didn't enjoy it. That's true. That's true. Okay, so let's yeah, say she I'll was never beat Impossible Mission either. She was a she was a PC gamer. There. Did you like? I don't remember if you were you weren't around when when Mom became obsessed with Star Control and uh, the original Might and Magic games. Were you? Because we all, we like, as a family, we were playing Might and Magic. Oh, anyway. Oh. Family of gamers, what can you do? So I have... Yeah. We did King's Quest and Monkey's Island as a family. Uh, I guess we'll go south first. Oh. This hole has a hole like flavor. I didn't live with you, but I do remember how, how, her playing them. Didn't you, like, you you played a game called Starfire that, for some reason, traumatized me. I remember that. That was when you were living with someone. Anyway, um, let's examine this hole. The pit is empty. It's not deep, but its circular shape means it must have a purpose. Cool. Field with a sinkhole in the center in the shape of a perfect circle. Most likely used during a certain rituals. They're already jumping into rituals. Oh, someone. I remember them. Look, you've had so many someones that you've lived with before. I can't. I lose track, all right? <laughs> if I tried to play any video game with my parents, they'd shit themselves. Luckily, have me exercised. I've seen you. You could use some exercise. Get some wait for, for that burn. Can I examine directions? No, it just gives me things. Um, it is 10.30 already? That's probably 10.30 in the morning. Probably. A small pasture lies in the shadow of the ruins. A giant tree here seems long dead and petrified and yet somehow bears fruit. Um... I wouldn't. This tree does not look giant. Might be my imagination. Can I get that fruit? The fruit is much too high for you to reach. Its stem is also firmly attached. All right, we should hate the fruit now because we can't get it. Bad fruit. Bad. Um. All right, let's wander off into the middle of nowhere. There's a wall of long, dried mud. Can you have... Can mud be long? Hugging the desert edge, piles of rocks have formed natural barriers at the edge of this kingdom. One rock stands here. It appears to be... Uh, it appears to also be loose. That's something you can take. Open it. You can't open that. Um... Maybe use it? Maybe. Oh, that's so much easier than reaching over for my, uh, for my goddamn tab key. Okay, can I use it? Yes! Good call, Doom Lad. 
You move the loose rock aside, revealing some items that were tucked hi hidden away. But by who? Let's just take them. We don't need to look at them. We can just take them. You take the key. I do? Oh, that's what this is. It's a key. Oh, cool. You take scroll two in hand. Okay, open the scroll. Actually, hang on, hang on. Open the scroll. Notes of a visor two. As for my second task, I shall have the key for now. While it is accompanying the lock, it is buried deep in the southern lands. Its contents now hidden. That should keep the thieves from plundering a cosmic jewel most precious. Cosmic jewel? Um, BDSM geocaching. I believe that's when you find somebody tied up under a rock. <laughs> Very exciting. Oak. More importantly, the hidden jewel will not tempt the odd keeper from abandoning its post of protecting what remains of our dear king. Okay. That sounds legit. Yep. Uh, let's see here. It's 11. It feels like we're reading part two of something. Okay, so every time we move, it's 30 minutes. Is that a foot? Nope. There's a path here leading into the dunes of the endless desert. This is a large stone foot. Could it have once belonged to a giant statue? Take it. Oh, that's not something you can take with you. Okay. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Wait, what? There's some runes here where a great structure must have once stood. All that remains is the columns and a compass engraved in the ground. There's a compass drawn on the ground. You should study it as it will help you to navigate this land. Okay, so north is to the left. Yep. Not forward. That's disorienting. What's this? There are words of an unfamiliar language written in the stone here. Okay. Okay, I think I know it's south, so let's just go north. I mean east. Fuck. East. Nope. Yep. A beautiful red poppies. 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 Field as far as the eye can see. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a bag. It's a discarded corn purse. purse. Co coin, coin purse. Take that. Do you think we'll actually get to see the circus? Pick up the coin Boy. purse and take two coins from it. I'm sorry, I stepped over you. What? I said hopefully. I can't, uh... Wait, what the fuck? Wait, why? Why do I get a loading cursor whenever I... Huh. Weird. That is weird. Beautiful red poppy field. Okay, well, I guess we'll move this way. Actually, let me examine these coins. A thick golden coin with an imprint of the sun on both sides. <laughs> heads are heads. A thick silver coin with the imprint of a moon on both sides. See a falcon flying in the area. Cool. It's 1.30. That's... Hmm. I think I'm wrong about... Yeah, this guy walks kind of slow. Beautiful red poppy seeds as far as the eye can see. I mean, poppy field. Were you thinking like east and west as like opposed to clockwise, counterclockwise or something like that? I think... Okay, east and west are reversed from the earth. We go around in a circle saying never eat foggy watermelons, right? Other people do like news, which is, uh, I guess in this case, left, up, down, right. But I think that's more confusing. Poppies, poppies. Well, it looks kind of like that cool ass people draw. That's why you do news. 
I see uh, a shallow bank leading into a river. This must be a popular place for the wary travelers to bathe. Where's the desert? So far we've just seen poppies. We haven't seen a desert. The desert was to the south. You mean to the west? I mean compass orientation to the south. But the compass is... Never mind. I got what you meant. It's down, <laughs> is what you're saying. Uh, no, it's right. Ah! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Scroll one. <laughs> Notes of a vizier. One. In my haste to prepare this kingdom from ransackery, I had dropped my satchel somewhere. Nevertheless, in the first of this Ahaz task, I have succeeded. And trust me with hiding the key to the sun. And thus, what better place to hide such a key? And in the sun itself, one only need to wish upon a glorious star and reflect upon its celestial glory. Okay, he put a key in the sun, which is badass. What's this? This looks special. Can we open the sun coin? That's not something you can just open. Can we open ourselves? Can we use ourselves? Doesn't accomplish anything. <laughs> I'm gonna head south and continue the circle. It accomplishes relaxation. Uh, it's, it feels like it's getting close to dinner time. Now, I've already eaten beans and rice. Continues this way, you can hear the sound of waterfall coming from the, this direction. I can? There's a narrow path through these trees in this direction. That probably leads to where yep. we showed up. A group of poppies. Muddy riverbank covered in moss. The air feels damp. I'm betting there's a waterfall to the south. I mean, the, the west. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, west. Okay, it is now uh, 3 o'clock. And... Actually, what if I don't have anything selected and I click somewhere? What Nothing. is that funny looking thing? It looks like a gauntlet or something. I think that's a bottle. Oh, it could be. Into the river from here, it flows into a lake. There's a gentle water waterfall pouring into the river. I guess the river is running to the east? What is this thing? There is a bottle afloat in the water too far from the bank to reach. They'll have to get into the water to retrieve it. Is that... Is that bad? Ah, oh, that might be dangerous. Okay, which means it's time to uh, save. You waded into the water and attracted a group of piranhas. You know, piranhas eat more plants than animals. They only eat animals when they're really, really hungry. They swirl around you and attack viciously and their many bites chew away at your body. I think they measure uh, the deadliness of piranhas and how many cows they can eat. <laughs> they strip the flesh from your bones. You are the tastiest thing they have had in ages. This is the end for you. Oh, and it just it well, just this, goes this back. Is the price of sneaking into a circus. I wonder what that did to my time. Yeah, it's two o'clock. It just rewound time too. So yeah. Sneak into a circus, get eaten by piranhas. Sexy. Um, let's just move on. Okay, and now, now I've I've come full circle. Yep. What is this thing over here? Magic story that has brought you to this strange land has vanished. Yeah, but what? There's. It looks as though there's words written on the stone. However, you cannot decipher their meaning. So the same thing as the other side. Yep. Now we're back in the poppy field. Yep, it is 5.30. God damn. Ooh, this looks promising. No. Nope. Your large door surrounded by a water-damaged mural. There is a flood of clay tiles beneath your feet. A f oh, a floor. I, mi I misread that wrong. 12 cows per hour type of piranhas. Yeah. 
Like how many cows can piranhas eat in an hour? And that's that's the rating of piranhas. Um, locked door blocks the entry, and strangely, there's no keyhole. What if I use this key? This isn't what you need right now. I'll use it on myself. It doesn't work. Fine. Um, none of these. What are those red shards? Yeah, are those flowers? I see a large door. Nope. Here we go. Okay, apparently nope. they're not important. Yeah. I could swear these are pictures of chickens, but they're probably just more flowers. Can I move into the door? No, it doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, we have we have nighttime coming in on us. Because it's 6.30. Yeah. Would you say that uh, that desert was? Uh, I think one more. Ooh. Oh no, this is new. This is new. Uh, there's a palace off in the distance. It's placed on top of a hill. It's perfectly picturesque. This game has nope. daylight savings, it seems. Is it really? Um... It is 8 o'clock and it's the sun is already set. Is this really the desert? Because it doesn't feel very deserty. No, this isn't. The desert was a bit further to the west. Or down. <laughs> Got it. An insect buzzing around. Its body is especially luminescent. You have a very luminescent body. I will take you. You reach for the bug and it flies away. Aww. What's what is west? Oh, it's the foot. Oh, I see. To the south, there's more desert. Yep. Well, I I really don't want to be in the desert right now. So I guess we'll go to the palace. You stand before the palace of stunning stonework, the small wooden door. Door is closed, but it does not appear to be locked. What about these? Okay. You see a cloaked figure before you. Okay. That's useful. A humble sized foyer. Home to many exotic plants and flowers. The exquisite decor suggests this was a palace of great importance. Um, I believe that's a woman. Can you do a girl voice? I can try. Welcome to what remains of our kingdom. It's a desolate land doomed by greedy zealots bent on seizing control. He's the one who sent you here. That charlatan is from this world and was banished to yours after an ill-fated attempt to take over our land. But the damage has already been done. You wish to escape, but alas, my powers have weakened significantly. I dare not ask so much of one so astray, but you and I share a goal. We can work together, if you'll be so kind. There is an important broken instrument within these walls, a friend to the south will help you fix it. To aid you, I have hidden magic spells in the form of engravings. I trust they will be most helpful to you. Good luck, until we meet again. Wow. And with a snap, she's disappeared. Truly magic. I'm taking yep. her clothes. No, no, I, <laughs> it's, it's clearly something I can take. Yes, it is. I want her clothes. I want to wear this dress. I don't care if I'm a guy. I want to wear that dress. Mm, sister of Doom. You want to be the prettiest princess. I do want to be the prettiest princess. God, God damn it. I was talking to my friend Don, and he's like, you'd look terrible in a skirt. And I said, yeah, but a micro skirt? Maybe not. <laughs> I got him to blush. I'm the only person to get him to blush. What is this blue thing? Nothing. I guess we're going inside. What is this red thing? I'm pixel hunting already. Well, it does feel like there's a bit less 
in the way of observable details than in, like, Shadowgate, where you could look at two or three things in a scene. This was a free game. I don't expect much. Yeah. Large atrium with finely decorated walls. I guess this is just... A, a, okay. Um, what do you think? Forward or to the right? Oh, let's go forward. That looks... We have the moon coin, so... Hey, that might mean something. I think we finally found the BDSM geocache. Heavy chains are attached to the well cover. There is no lever or crank to operate them, though. I also see cracks. This room is dominated by a large well, but it doesn't seem like it's for retrieving water. Huh? Huh? Can you sneak into the well through the cracks? Just, just maybe like it'll a... work this time. It didn't work for the tent, but maybe this time. Yeah, it, it might work this time. It, with BDSM uh, geocaching, you always want to sneak in through the crack. Enter nope. through the crack. Actually, wait. The, yeah. It looks like that the moon symbol in the middle is missing. Hang on, yeah. See how it's gray, whereas the other ones are not? Let's try putting the moon coin in there. Knowing when the moon is at its brightest is probably important. Ah. This isn't what you need right now. What time is it? It is midnight. I wonder if I have to be here like when the moon rises in the uh, east. Does the moon rise in the east? No, the moon rises in the west, right? Fuck. It rises somewhere. Damn it. Could somebody please look up when the, where the moon rises? I can't tell if I need to be here sooner or later. And there's no wait command, right? I'm glad I stole this fancy watch. Oh! Oh, oh that's, that's a window. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. We'll come back to this. But I think, yeah, the moon coin probably has something to do. Maybe that's... Huh. I think it's becoming morning. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm skipping an hour every time I go backwards and forward. Yeah, yeah, it's morning now. Let's just move on to wherever this is going. And that's when, for three hours, he just walked through a doorway. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> okay. Bows of the floor of the far end are shaped like a sun. This door is closed. We'll fucking open it. This wall has appears to be a deformation, but the wall is solid. It doesn't work. Okay. Ooh! Uh, a book and what looks to be like an opening into reality. What is this? All the remains of a beautiful instrument. In its current state, it is useless. What kind of instrument is that? Broken instrument. A large book on the table. That looks like a trap. There's nothing there to take. Okay, we'll open it. The hand begins to lift the cover. The book flips itself open to a page as if it wants you to read something. A loot or a liar, maybe? Hmm. Sleep time for me. Good luck with your not going into the desert. Thank, thank you. Good, good night, Cross. Sleep, sleep, sleep well, you palace cat, you. I'm imagining Cross curled up and sleeping like a palace cat. It's kind of a nice image. Okay. Examine this. Scholar's Diary. 
none shall hold domination over the wild blue flame, long imprisoned by the spectral full moon, as long as such curses are to blame. Broken free now of its goal, only with the equal ferocity in the sunken go gale granted from a wish can one hope to subdue. Okay, so I gotta point this out. That's actually jail, not goal. It's not a typo. Oh, it's, it's a really old yeah. way of spelling it. I know, I've, I've seen that word. I just didn't realize it was pronounced jail. Yeah, it's it's like an old English way of saying jail, which it's kind of like spelling yep. magic with a K. Yep. Uh, anyway, where were we? Such a burning being in these dark times. Seek well wishes under the brightest of full moons. You snuff out the inferno without fail. Okay. Hey, I see more uh, runes up here. There are words inscribed to the wall, but you don't understand what it nope. says. So, during the fullest of moons, we probably have to go over here. Yep. Yeah, because that's a window. Okay. Good God, it's already 7 in the morning. I've been walking all night. At one point, I was you just... walked like five feet between the doorways for three hours, so... Yeah. <laughs> That'll do ya. Um? There's so much detail, but I don't think it's useful for anything. If I had a sling, I could take that thing out. Okay, there's the sun. Fucking sun. Can you open the sun? No. From the sound of it, you needed to open a reflection. But... I wonder... Okay, so it's... So at about seven o'clock it rises. Maybe that's when I need to be in that ha that that room. No, that doesn't make sense. So seven p.m. I don't know when the sun is at its brightest, right? You subdue the beastie, whatever it was. Um, we've now we're now at that point where we fully explored places, but um. And there's still a few spots that we haven't explored. I don't think we've explored to the uh, south of the foot. Didn't we come in from the west? Well, I'm not doing anything right now, so I might as well spend several hours walking over there. Okay, yeah, here's the foot. Uh, no. South of the foot is the desert, and I didn't want to wander there for fear of, like, dying. I, I, yeah, I, I'm... Yeah. So, so let's I think save. it might be... Because we, we were able to walk in and walk right out, so maybe we could walk in okay. further. Look. Huh. Okay. Okay, so I went south at least. Hang on. If you go south twice and go... North, you immediately North once, come back here. Yeah. So, yep. It's it's one of those mazes where you either need an item to tell you what the hell is going on. I miss it. Yeah. Endless wandering in the desert has caught up with you. You die of exhaustion. Well, wait, what? <laughs> what time is it? It's eighth. It's eighteen hundred thirty. Okay. Well, we could use this to see when the moon comes out. Just go into the desert and then back out of it. So yeah, that's true. So nineteen hundred hours. Yeah, 
There it is. So the moon rises yep. at 10 o'clock. I don't think I can get there in time. Yeah. Whoa. Is that something on the moon? Okay, no. Oh, that was a tree. Or something. Maybe a cloud. So I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get there in time, but I'm going to try real quick. Yeah, no. So now what was that about the the sun being at its fullest? I guess while we're out and about. Let me reread this real quick. Yeah, it was brightest moons. No, what was the sun out, part? Now. Was that not? Did I not read the sun? Part? Okay, maybe maybe it was just the. Maybe it was just the moon. So the, I mean, it's kind of it feels right that we just kind of dick dick around with the moon through this little area that looks like a moon. That seems like enough. Maybe that was they they were just giving an extra hint for idiots. <laughs> I mean, it's not impossible. Well. Yeah. If the sun's about to rise, where's, where's a good place to be for the sunrise? Ooh. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it actually is really nice. Um. I actually don't know. What time is it? Yeah, in it's about to rise. So... Where's a good place to be for the sunrise? Also, we don't have any cl clue on how to uh, move this. Okay, this doesn't lead anywhere. Go to the moon coin. Go to the sun. It's not a path you can take. <laughs> if only had a bag of holding, then enter bag would make sense. What happens if you enter a bag of holding? I actually don't know. I know you don't. You shouldn't put a uh, bag of holding into another bag of holding. Yeah, it's just a. It's it's like a space in and of itself. Hmm. Can you move into the sinkhole? Good. Good question. That's not a path you can take. Fair enough. Perfectly round makes me think of the sun. I wonder if I gotta pour water in it to reflect the sunlight. That's a possibility. Yeah. Also, How would we do that though? I don't know. It is right next to the waterfall, so huh. maybe we can if we can get that bottle, maybe we could do something with that. We gotta figure out a way to get to the bottle without being eaten by piranhas, though. Well. I'm at that point where it's like, okay, start rubbing everything against everything else. It's a pretty game. Yeah. I wonder if. No, there's nothing to indicate that the sun is uh, useful here. What about the broken Yeah, it was instrument? a door with no key on it. Do you want to use the sun myself? In its current state, the instrument cannot be played. Use no. it to get the flute or, fruit set. or the bottle? Hmm. What'd you say? Yeah, we could try that. Oh, well, might as I well was just start gonna say, we could, we could try just going south like four or five times in the desert, because she said to the south of the palace. That's kinda south. Huh. What was south of the palace? Am I just... She said the instrument. She, you could get it fixed. South of the palace. Oh, hey, you know what? That's a good point. Um, real quick. No. Okay, so that, that that's not gonna do it. 
I gotta, I gotta uh, waste time until uh, 20 hundred hours anyway. Well. And I need to do a quick check because you have a point. Um, where is the palace? Okay, so here is the desert. So one, if we go forward one, forward two, we're now at the palace. So the palace is two yep. forward. So... Sixteen hundred, okay. Okay, so one, two, and then south. Oh, look, there's things. I think those stars were always there. No, look, they're, they're proper glowing. Like, now they're sort of filling up the background. Reflecting. Yeah. Oh, well. That didn't work out. What time is it? 1900? Okay. Um, quit. Because the timing was important to me. And since that yeah. would that would have made it impossible to get to the, uh, the room when the moon rised. Yeah. Then I needed to go back to my original save. Okay, what time is it? 1600, good. This will work. So it's uh, 1630, 1700, 1730, 1800. Huh. Um, Not open. What the fuck? This wall is framed like a doorway, but there's no wall is not solid. Huh. Maybe that means the sun door is open during the day at some point. Okay, and now this is open. It is 1900. Okay, it's 1930. Oh, we're getting the moon close. Oh. No. Ow! You fucking kidding me! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Yep. Which means it's just a little off, right? That means it's a little off. If I get, if I return back. It'll be off by one. So what I need to do is go into the desert, go forward one, and then get, leave the desert. And that will, or that should, make it so that I can go back and forth exactly on an hour. Yep. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Well, let's move forward. Uh, east. And then over again. Yep. Okay, and yeah, now I'm at a 30 minute mark instead of a immediate hour mark. Okay, here we go. So if I move back and forward again, it should be exactly right. Boom! Yep. That doesn't work. What? Fuck you! Ah. This is this is correct. God damn it! I am I am correct. What if you use the moon coin on the well? Doesn't work. Aw. Oh. That isn't what you need right now. If you examine the moon, does it say anything? I don't know, let's find out. Heavy chains. It's not even recognizing it. Yeah. With the hole in the center through which the sky can be seen. 
Knowing when the moon is at its brightest is probably important. Hey, asshole. Guess when it's brightest. Now o'clock. I don't, like, what does it fucking want? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this a good place to take a break. Stretch and hydrate. And make a little cut for YouTube. So. Yep. Yep. All right, everybody. Stretch and hydrate. Stretch and hydrate, everybody. I'll be right back.